<laughs> okay. Well, let's talk about today's race. Uh, what was? What were you thinking? Uh, today's race, I was just trying to think about being clean the whole way. Uh, I came in really feeling well, really excited. It's a beautiful stadium and a very energetic crowd. It's hoping to really uh, capitalize off of that and run a, a good race. So, I mean, you this is really your first season, or your second season on the on the senior circuit. Could you talk about what it's like to be on the circuit, you know, for the first couple times? Yeah, it's a uh, fantastic feeling, you know. Um, when you're running against the best, you kind of elevate your uh, your game plan and, and you elevate to the best. So um, it's very exciting to be out here and, you know, you watch these guys on TV when you're younger and now you're, you're out here racing them. So it's a very exciting feeling and to be in front of uh, tens of thousands of people, to feel that energy on the stands and on the track is uh, it's a unique feeling. So as an American, you come here, you run in front of 40,000 people, Zurich last week, 50,000 people. The World Championships have already sold 800,000 tickets. I mean, and you go back home and you say, no, guys, but track overseas. I mean, talk about that. Yeah, yeah, I wish it was the same uh, in America. Um, obviously, we have Track Town USA, a historic Hayward Field that attracts a lot of, uh, that is just 12,000, but it's still as close as we get to get. I wish that track was a little bit more popular and we could draw those stands. Uh, the closest thing to it, I guess, would be the pen relays, and I've ran there a couple of times from Philadelphia area. And uh, yeah, I guess that kind of prepared me for this, but going overseas and seeing these fans, there's nothing like it. Even in the Caribbean and Jamaica, uh, they're, they're just uh, very energetic, excited fans. Well, I actually say Jamaica is the real heart and soul of track fans. I mean, the hotel lobby guys talk to you about relay splits. Yeah, they do. I got the opportunity to run in Jamaica twice a season, and uh, they are track fanatics. It's no wonder that the national sport is track and field. Uh, you got a bunch of guys who are very knowledgeable, and that USA-Jamaican rivalry is very thick. So. It's, uh, it's exciting to go down there and race. So you've quickly, quickly risen to the, in the top ranks of U.S. hurdlers. I mean, and that's a really tough team to be a part of. I mean, so could you talk about what you're thinking about next year going into the World Championships in London? Yeah, well, I mean, we have the uh, world record holder, the, la the London Olympic uh, champion, world champion, different multiple years, and uh, they're all still running. And uh, it's a very unique experience because uh, those guys are the best in the world, and they kind of prime you for this international circuit. And um, you don't get that competition anywhere else in the world. I'm very grateful to come through the United States, and they really do shape you and make you ready for the international circuit. Uh, looking forward to next year, I'm very excited. Um, there's kind of a changing of the guards, and I'm hoping that I can make sure that I'm staying relevant and doing what I need to do to stay at the top of my game to represent uh, the United States. And some of those older guys decide to hopefully retire. You know, they're getting kind of old, so <laughs> I'm hoping that my name uh, fits right in right after them. Hey, watch what you say. Those words about retiring too soon can make, really energize some guys sometimes. That they sure could. I've seen a couple guys, you know, bounce back from retirement this year trying to make uh, some uh, Olympic teams. So you never know. These guys are very talented, and they honestly could keep running until they're 45, and that would be very a lot of trouble for me. So I'm hoping that I can just step my game up to compete and, you know, knock them off their game a little bit, make them think twice. Well, I got a feeling you're going to be in many World Championships, Olympic finals in the years to come. I hope so. I'm going to keep working hard and make uh, USA proud. Thanks for stopping by and talking to us. Thank you, Jody.